Hi guys, this is Anna. Welcome or welcome back on my channel. Today I decided to do a video a little bit different from my two first ones. I really wanted to show you all what are my like 15 essential foods on keto. I have quite a few things so we are gonna go through as quickly as possible and I'm gonna also explain why they are some of my essentials of keto, what I do with it and how I use it and even like how much I use it to give you an idea. Uh, of course I have a lot more in my fridge than those but if I have that I can easily get away with so many recipes I'm totally fine. So I hope that gives you a few ideas for either with snack or meals or just something to have in your fridge if you're not sure what to get while you're on keto. So the very, very, very first thing for me um, is cheese. I have a real addic addiction to cheese. Uh, in case you didn't notice, I am from France. I grew up eating cheese. I love cheese. And I always have as much cheese in my fridge as I can. So to give you an idea, here is how it looks. So here it is. As you can see, I have about like eight different cheese. Um, I buy most of my cheese at Trader Joe. Um, I have some French one, I have some Italian one, and I have the very basic like uh, the Laughing Cow and the Boursin that you can buy pretty much in, in any kind of supermarket. Um, I absolutely love all of them. Uh, this one, for example, is the Asiago cheese with rosemary and olive oil. It's really good. One of my favorite one would be this one it is a little bit more expensive but it's delicious and again the reason i buy almost everything at trader joe is because they have the most variety of cheese like you're gonna find so many things but also it's a lot cheaper than almost anywhere else this it's almost gone was a camembert and if you go to a regular supermarket you're gonna find the same amount of this when it was like full for about nine bucks I paid four for this one from from Trader Joe's, so very very good deal. They have so many choices. I highly recommend if you like cheese, if you're not lactose intolerant. Also, I do eat cheese a lot uh, for breakfast, for snacks. Um, sometimes I even put some of it in my eggs, uh, depending on my mood. So cheese very very important, very useful. Another big staple of my diet is gonna be steak. Uh, beef pretty much i buy all kind uh ground beef uh, actual steak like those ones um i absolutely love those ones uh, now the downside is that yes they are delicious they are super tender i can eat them with anything but they are a little bit expensive um so it's not something i will eat every day uh, more like maybe one steak like that once a week more or less because again um, it is quite a bit pricey and also those are pretty high calories so I try to be careful with that as well because I still look at what I eat and I also can get like these kinds um, those are a lot cheaper I won't probably eat by itself but I use in some kind of recipes um, and it, it's great it works great um, again perfect for a lot of different things so great thing to have I always have a little bit of each or like some kind of something when it comes to steak. Ground beef, I usually get the, 80, the 85, 15 percent, like 85 lean, 15 fat. Uh, I don't, I know it goes all the way to like 70, 30. I personally don't like it, it's too fatty. I don't get the leanest, obviously it's not the goal on keto, but I find like 85, 15 to be a good middle ground for myself, so that's usually the one that I have. Another of my essential is going to be chicken. I eat a lot of chicken. It's a lot cheaper than beef um, and it's great for protein. It's also a little bit leaner when I'm trying to like watch the calories. So I use a chicken breast, chicken wings, chicken thighs. Um, I use whatever chicken. I'm not too picky. Uh, usually I use a chicken breast. Uh, again, less calorie, um, pretty cheap, very easy to do anything with it. We all know how to cook with chicken, I feel like. I highly recommend if you're keto, it's just as great as on any other diet. I personally eat it like quite a bit and it always works. In my essential, we are going to find salmon. Uh, I absolutely love salmon. It's super healthy. 
However, just like beef, it's more on the expensive side and also it's pretty high in calories. So again, it's something that I eat occasionally, maybe like once a week on average, I would say, like I don't abuse it. Um, I also eat some kind of like smoked salmon, which is even more expensive than this one. So smoked salmon is really something I buy like once every like two months, once in a while, um, because it is so expensive, but it is super good. It, you have so many ways of being able to like prepare it, so many recipes, uh, keto friendly, obviously, good fats, good protein, everything works with that salmon, so I love it. Again, downside is the price, um, not as friendly as chicken. Not something to eat every day, but definitely a good thing to have once in a while, whenever possible. Not very different from the salmon, but I love just as much is shrimp. Uh, shrimps are awesome, um, you know, a little bit fatty, good protein, uh, not as expensive as salmon, and again, a thousand different ways of cooking them. You have so many options, it's delicious. I personally love it, I eat that quite a bit. Um, definitely not as much as chicken, I think chicken is really my main protein, but shrimp is definitely part of it, and I do enjoy it, and I make a lot of different recipes with it that I've learned um, very, very good. So I highly recommend, uh, if you can, eat some shrimp. So I pretty much show you guys most of the protein that I get uh, when it comes to fish and meat and even cheese, I guess, like animal product. Uh, now the thing is I also do eat a lot of veggies and the most important one on my diet that I eat the most out of anything else cauliflower. Uh, I eat all kind of cauliflower. I buy it fresh and sometimes I make my own rice or my own mashed cauliflower but sometimes I just buy the like, pre-packaged or I also buy like that kind of things. Um, you can really buy like whatever way you want. Uh, honestly cauliflower is not that cheap as a vegetable I find. It's a little bit more like expensive so those little packages are actually not that bad uh, but again um, it's always more expensive when you buy it pre-made, I feel like. Uh, I personally do it all. If I can buy it fresh, I do buy it fresh. And if I have time to work with it, that's great. Now, if I don't have the time, um, I just get those. And in fact, I always have those pre-packaged one uh, because also the thing with fresh is that if you not sure you're gonna be able to do whatever you wanna do with it right away or in a timely manner, it's gonna go bad. So I would say, those are pretty safe. Uh, cauliflower is awesome. You can do so many things with it. If you've seen my previous video in the truth about keto, it's like cauliflower is really like the number one thing for keto. Keto people make everything cauliflower, I feel like. So cauliflower, one of the most important things you can have. My second most important veggies that I always have, either way fresh or frozen, is gonna be broccoli. Um, I love broccoli. I can make them into recipe but I also sometimes eat them by themselves with just a little bit of butter and like ready parmesan or melted mozzarella or whatever. Uh, super easy to do whatever you want with it. I know some people even make um, broccoli rice now. I have actually never tried it but I've been curious of doing it. Same as the cauliflower. I have some frozen and occasionally I buy some fresh depending on what I want to make and how it's going to work the best. Um, it's totally up to you but the advice stays the same. When it's frozen it actually keeps long. It actually stays longer. You don't have to really worry about it. You know it's here and you can grab it whenever you need it. So it's awesome. I love it. My third most important veggies and on keto, they are not like the best. Uh, I guess it's, I say they are like average, definitely not as good as cauliflower or broccoli, but I personally love them. There are so many things you can do. I use them with caution, obviously. So in that case, I am talking about bell peppers. Um, sometimes I buy those like pre-made mixes of all kind of bell pepper and onion. Sometimes I buy fresh bell pepper. Sometimes I make my own mixes like this one. Um, in this one I put like half an orange pepper, half a yellow pepper and some poblano pepper. Uh, so I make my own mixes as well. I just buy them fresh, uh, slice them and mix and match. Uh, it all works. It really depends what you want to do but same thing, um, you know, frozen, it stays longer. It's always here. You don't have to worry about it. I really like, in case you didn't figure, I really like to freeze everything because I'm terrible and I hate wasting food. So that's the one thing that I do. And obviously with bell pepper, the reason I love them is they taste delicious. It adds a little bit of sweetness, especially like the red one or 
the orange one, yellow ones, uh, not too much for the greens, but the three other kind, I feel like they can add a little bit of sweetness. They are still decently good on keto as long as you don't abuse them. Um, you can make like stuffed bell peppers, you can make like faritas, you can make salads, you can make a thousand different things with them. I eat them like I would say every week, um, definitely not every day, but I will eat them quite a few times a week, uh, most likely. So awesome, I say it's definitely a staple of my diet and it's probably never gonna change. Another veggie that I always have and always love with about anything are gonna be mushrooms. I always, almost always buy those, the baby Bella. Um, they are delicious, so easy to cook. You can throw them in eggs, you can throw them with like some meat, you can throw them um, in casseroles, in so many different things. They, I mean, and plus you can't really mess up the cooking with those. Uh, it's, you just throw them in, it's super time convenient. Now I will say those don't freeze. Um, well, they do freeze, and I tried it, but the thing is, like, when they unfreeze, they turn really bad and really mushy. Um, so those, I don't necessarily always have them. I'm only buying them when I know for sure I'm going to be able to cook them, because otherwise they can go back pretty fast, and again, you can't really freeze them. So that's the one thing to be careful about. Um, with mushroom. Now we'll say I also have canned mushroom. Those are a thousand times better, but canned mushroom can be a good option. Um, you know, just in case you're out or they are not, or those are not good anymore, whatever happens, it's always nice if you don't, if you just need some mushrooms once in a while, the canned one can do a great job. I don't like any frozen one, I've tried them all, so um, I'll stick with the fresh or the canned. This one is a stable for almost everyone, I feel like not only keto people, but if you're trying to get your healthy fat, if you're trying, if you're being keto, if you're doing low carb, uh, whatever you're trying to do, like just healthy overall and even not healthy, I guess, <laughs> avocados. Who doesn't love a delicious avocado? Again, avocado use them for everything, um, whatever it's salad, tacos, wrap, um, guacamole, Anything I'll be using an avocado, I eat about half an avocado a day. Uh, not every day, but I'll say like almost every day. Uh, avo I, avocados are absolutely delicious. I love them. I highly recommend. Just again, like we said about you know the salmon and the beef and so on, uh, high in fat, and which means uh, high calories. So that's why I only eat half a, one half a day because it can add up really fast and. That's going to be the case with a lot of food that are keto friendly and that's why I eat usually small portions, but it's delicious. So I'm satisfied with the half and it makes the trick and again, so many options with it. Another big stable food for a lot of people, keto or not, are going to be eggs. Another difference with keto and non-keto is like a lot of people will only eat or many eat egg white. Uh, on keto you really want to eat the entire thing, otherwise it kind of defeats the purpose. I love eggs, I make omelette, I make frittata, I make um, fried eggs with half an avocado and a couple of pieces of bacon. Um, I don't eat them every day because I have my limits when it comes to eggs, but I do eat them a few times a week. They are quick and easy to make, they are not expensive, it's a great quick fix. Uh, for me, it uh, works magic. And also I think like being able to eat a full egg makes it a lot tastier. So that's one benefit of keto because I really don't like egg whites by themselves. I can eat eggs a lot, but just egg white, not my thing. So that makes me really happy and I enjoy being able to eat. A full egg and not just half of one so great thing about keto so guys we went through 11 items that I always have in my fridge and overall they were all pretty healthy now I saved the four last ones for not as healthy I guess but I couldn't live without it without them so they do deserve this part in this video and we are gonna start with the first one which is sour cream I use sour cream in everything as I mentioned in one of my previous videos I eat like a lot of sauce, like if you've been in France, you know that like French people like to have like very creamy dish and we use a lot of any kind of like cream and you know, make a lot of different sauces. Um, I absolutely love it. I put that in almost everything, regardless if it's to make a sauce, if it's to make a casserole, it doesn't matter. Uh, sometimes I even put it in my eggs. Um, yeah, 
Sour cream is definitely something I probably eat every day. Now I do like measure it out, I just don't eat it. Like <laughs> I don't eat like a cup a day of that, obviously. I'm careful with it, but it makes all the difference when I cook and make up recipes. So that really helps a lot. It's totally for Kate, it's totally keto friendly. Couldn't live without it, so healthy or not, I'm gonna be eating it. The second very unhealthy, I guess, even though I don't think it's actually that unhealthy, um, is gonna be my cream cheese. The reason I didn't put it with the rest of the cheese is that I don't really call that cheese. Um, I do call it cream cheese and nothing else. Um, it's delicious. I will use that in... Um, my casseroles, some kind of recipe sometimes if I wanna add some taste or just, just even just like some protein or fat, whatever, it makes the trick. And the main thing I use it for is to make cheesecake. I When I went keto, I actually started baking. I'm absolutely terrible at it. It usually looks like crap, but it tastes okay. And at least, you know, it's a little bit healthier still, like I know what is in it. It's not as processed, I'm guessing. I don't know, uh, but cream cheese is always in my fridge. I also love to make jalapeno poppers with it. Uh, super good, super easy. So cream cheese is definitely gonna be a big one. I always have it. Number three is gonna be butter. So here's the thing. You can use any kind of oil, like olive oil, um, coconut oil, avocado oil, doesn't really matter. I am a fan of butter. I use quite a bit of olive oil as well, not as much. Um, butter is definitely my number one when I'm cooking and also when I need to up my fat. So I can easily throw a tablespoon of butter in my coffee if I'm low on calories, if I feel like I'm gonna be low on calories or um, I need a little boost, I use butter in my coffee. Um, it's probably not the best choice out of all of the available you know oils and butter and whatever there is out there but again that's what I like um, that fit my diet that fit my lifestyle that fit my budget uh, so it's totally awesome it's butter and that's that works just fine even if it's not MCT oil that costs 15 bucks a bottle so butter is awesome last but not least we have peanut butter <laughs> Uh, so here's the thing, we, when I was a kid we did not have peanut butter in France, um, I think now they have it, it's getting kind of popular, I've never tried it there, I've heard it's not that great, I don't really know, I never bought peanut butter over there or even looked for it, but when I'm here, peanut butter makes up my life, I hated it when I first tried it a decade ago, but nowadays I can't live without it. Um, it is delicious. I really like that one, the Skippy Natural. Um, it tastes better than all other natural peanut butter I've tried and I've tried quite a few because I go through those quite fast. And honestly, like it has the same macros, if not better than most of other natural peanut butter and it's one of the cheapest. Uh, when, I talk about, when I talked about all of that food, I mentioned the price because for most people it does matter and it is important to know to make sure your diet and your can feed into your lifestyle, your lifestyle, but also your budget. Because <laughs> if it doesn't fit in your budget, it won't fit in your lifestyle. So this is the best peanut butter. I love it. Um, again, use it in everything. I make cheesecake with it. I I make ice cream with it. I make a lot of treats, like peanut butter treats. Uh, so yeah, it's absolutely delicious. Um, unless you have another allergy. So if you have another allergy, especially a peanut allergy, do not eat it. Okay guys, so this is the end of the video. I showed you the 15 food I almost always have some kind of. I also explain why and what I do with it. I hope you found it helpful and entertaining. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, a subscribe. I'm gonna be coming up with a few more videos that I think are gonna be pretty entertaining related to keto as well, but not only. And I will see you soon. Thank you so much.